welcome back guys i hope all of you will be fine so this is question 3.39 and the statement of it is from a sack of fruit containing three oranges two apples and three bananas a random sample of four pieces of fruit is selected okay so in the given data we can write here that we have here three oranges okay the number of oranges are three two apples okay and also three bananas okay so from them i have to select what i have to select four pieces of fruit randomly if x is the number of oranges so oranges are represented with x and y is the number of apple so this is y this is x okay so what do we have to do we have to find the joint probability distribution of x and y which is part a of our question okay so this is what from them i have to select four pieces of fruit randomly okay so the part a of our question is here okay and we can see very clearly here that we have the total number of fruits here the total number of items of fruits are eight which are three plus two plus three which are eight and from eight i have to select four so the total selections are basically from eight i have to select four okay when i will do it like eight factorial divided by eight minus four that is four factorial and then four factorial this would be 70 okay so i have to select 70 item and these are the total 70 selections which can be carried out in total okay so in order to find the joint probability distribution of x and y initially we have the three oranges and out of three oranges i have to select let me have here small x and i have to select x items okay similarly if i have the apples which are basically two in number and i have to select y number of items from them okay and the remaining items are banana okay so the number of banana here are three and from them i have to select how much do those would be the remaining one from the four because the total number of items here would be four so therefore i have to see that how many x and y are and the remaining items which are out of four i have to select them okay so these would be the selected items which will comply with the condition of our question okay so i hope you have understood and dividing it over the total number of selections which have been already calculated and these are 70 okay so these are what these would be f of x y okay and this is what this is the joint probability distribution for part a of our question okay so here also what can be the values of x and y so the values of x can be small x can be these are the total number of oranges so it can be no orange or one orange two orange or three oranges okay similarly y is how much that can be zero one or two okay and also the total number of items here can be greater or equal to one and less than or equal to four so this is basically the condition for the formula which we have derived here and that is what we have found out here for the joint probability distribution of our part a okay similarly in part b we are asked that if p of x y is a member of a where a is the region that is given by x y such that x plus y is less than or equal to 2 okay so here in part b we have to see that what are the items for which we have to find the probability of x y such that x plus y is less than or equal to 2 okay so which items can it be so those can be found out from this formula and these can be here either it can be 0 1 and we can see that 0 plus 1 is 1 which is less than 2 okay also it can be plus f 0 2 so 0 plus 2 is also less than or equal to 2 which lies in between this range okay similarly f of 1 0 okay plus f of 
टू जीरो ओके एंड ऑल्सो एफ ऑफ वन वन ओके सो दीज आर सम आइटम्स which are the values of x and y which i have to put here and after finding the values i can add them together here you should also note that i am not using here f of 0 0 why because if i will add here f 0 0 so these two items will be 0 0 while this one only be selected which cannot fulfill our requirement that the total items here should be 4 okay because the total number of items which are 3 and these are the uh, three bananas which will not satisfy the condition in part a so that's why i am not selecting this f of 0 0 okay so now finding the values of this these items and then adding them together what are those values so let me first find out f of 0 1 so for f of 0 1 the formula here is this one so let me move up put somehow so this is the formula and putting the values of x and y so x is 0 here okay y is 1 here and also it would be 3 x plus y is 1 and 4 minus 1 is 3 okay so it would be this one and it will be what it will be 70 okay so now finding them out what i will get from here i will get 1 from here i will get 2 and from here again i will get 1 and so ultimately it will be 70 so it will be 2 by 70 okay also if i will do it for f of 1 0 what it will be it will be uh, 3 1 okay it will be 2 0 and here it will be what it will again be 3 3 divided by 70 okay so now finding them out what i will get it will be 3 factorial divided by 2 factorial into 1 factorial so these two will cancel out and at the end what i will get here i will get 3 okay so 3 will be left here from it i will get 1 and from it i will again get 1 so it will be 70 so i will have 3 by 70 okay also the other values are let me find the other values which are f11 f20 and f02 okay you can find them out just by putting these values into this formula okay you can see by putting these values in this formula and then ultimately you will use this formula for adding them all together which are the values just like f01 is here f02 is here and also this one is here as well adding them all together and ultimately what you will get here the answer of part b will be 1 by 2 and that is the solution of part b of our question okay so uh, that's it for today in which we have seen that how to find the joint probability distribution of any items which are given to us if you have any question regarding uh, this exercise problem you can ask me in the comment box see you soon